when you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality. Who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Hi, I'm John Malice, and welcome to this live edition of Connect with me here on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Wednesday. Today, it's Arts and Culture Day. We're talking about ballroom dancing. You heard me correctly, ballroom dancing. 436 Me TV, option 11. Get your dancing shoes on and ready to do some tapping. We're going to be back with our guest in just a moment. Hey, Gustavo. Arts and Culture Day here on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno. Of course, the phone number, you know it by now. And remember, turn down the sound when you call in today. Very interesting program. We're going to be talking about ballroom dancing. 436 MeTV, option 11. Do not, do not wade through the message. As I've said many, many times before, just hit option 11 as soon as you possibly can. And I think one of the best ways I think anybody, anybody can get into shape is to start dancing, either ballroom dancing. I mean, just stop and think about how many calories you can actually burn by dancing, either tap dancing, ballroom dancing, whatever kind of dancing that you want. Um, I mean, you, you, take, you take your pick, whatever you want to do. But today we are going to focus on ballroom dancing. Let's go to the videotape. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And you are going to be looking at Ballroom Live right here in Fresno at First and Bullard. The place has been open for several years and they offer private lessons if you choose or you can join any number of classes during the week. You can be a beginner like me or an accomplished dancer. Either way, it doesn't matter. The point is, have fun, my friends, just like this couple here. And some of you may even have some ambitions to go as high as the mountaintop. And that means competing under the bright lights and a national TV audience on Dancing with the Stars. And now they have the specter of the first team in their minds. Let the music start. Amber and Derek uh, into a cha-cha, which uh, Brad and Peter also have gone to. That's the uh, dance of choice for everybody right now. Should be a change in tempo coming up. There you go. <laughs> Definitely all get acting props. The Viennese Waltz for Brad and Pita. Remember, they've never heard this music shift and change before. Leah and Tony are getting the first tap out. They'll get one and, and one of our production assistants gets an elbow in the cheek. Ah, they make it look so easy. I mean, even I can do that, right? Ha, yeah, right. Live in our studio right now is Dimitri Kochin. Uh, he is the owner of Ballroom Live here in the city of Fresno at First and Bullard. And you can call in and ask him any kind of questions. You know, this guy, he is a teacher. He is a master of ballroom dancing. He can teach you well, I don't know if he can teach me. I'm an old dog. But anyway, he can teach you how to ballroom dance and burn some calories and have some fun. You don't have to go on national TV and do Dancing with the Stars. You can just have fun right here in Fresno and entertain your friends and yourself as well. Turn down the sound. Call in 436 Me TV Option 11. Can't wait to talk about ballroom dancing. Back in just a moment.
When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Samsung big screen we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an HD 3D web-enabled Samsung TV. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Back here on Connect With Me on Me TV Fresno on this Wednesday. It's Arts and Culture Day, and I'm very pleased to welcome into our program right here, Dimitri Kochkin, right? Yes. All right, I pronounced it correctly. Now, where are you Absolutely. from originally? Originally, I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, Almaty. okay. When did, you, when did you arrive here? Um, first time I arrived in 2003, then came back to get the papers done and get back in 2004, start working. Okay, now you've owned Ballroom Live for how long now? Uh, for three years almost. Three years. Yeah. And is it uh, what you thought it would be? <laughs> mm, it was thinking about it. Yeah. Is it is it a difficult business to have, or has Dancing with the Stars made it a little bit easier, do you think, mm. because of all the publicity, of course, over the last, what, 10, 12, 14 years, something like that? Oh, no, I think Dancing with the Stars, I don't know, came probably six, seven years ago, but it's helping a little bit. Yeah, it's helping in what way? I don't know. People see more dancing. They know what it is. Yeah. They want to dance. Yeah. So where did you learn how to dance? I uh, learned in my country. In your country? Okay. Yes. At what age? Uh, I started dance like around nine years old. Nine years old? Yeah. And then when you arrived here, mm -hmm. um, well, you have a bachelor's in dancing, right? Yeah. And you... And you obtain that where uh, in my country in your country okay talk about what it takes to be a good dancer oh it takes a lot I don't know a lot of practice a lot of time a lot of money <laughs> a lot of money <laughs> yeah. why oh because you're supposed to hire how can I say probably best dancers in the world to go to dance seminars get the experience out of them yeah so it's like anything else, you've got to have money to compete against the other people, right? Yes. And you've got to hire the proper dance coach who can help you along. Now, how much of it is natural talent? Like, I don't have a lot of natural talent to be a good dancer, nor do I have a lot of good rhythm. Do you need that as part of your, as, as part of your, um, you know, as part of what you have to do to be a good dancer? You know, depends on a level which one you want to reach, probably. If you're going to be compete against other people, you're supposed to get the talents. They're going to be help you a little bit in the beginning, but anybody can dance. Is most of it natural talent? No. It's not, in your no. opinion, right? Yeah. Okay. I want to take you out to your ballroom live. Take a look at the monitor here. We're going to roll some of the videotape and talk over this. This is dancing. Here's a couple yeah. right here dancing. Mm -hmm. Um a local couple, and that's a mirror, by the way. That's not two couples. It's the same yeah. couple. So, so talk about some of the things that they're doing right that you like, and talk about some of the things that you'd like to see them improve on. Mm, actually, it's myself dancing with Mary, and um, I don't even know it's going to be. Well, that is you. I didn't even yeah. recognize you. Okay. It's like salsa. I'm doing salsa with her. Okay. Just simple elementary moves. All right. It's going to be understandable. All right. All right, and is she, it how how good a dancer is she? Oh, she's very good dancer. She's been competing a lot. She's been study, got to dance seminars. Uh huh, uh huh. She's been dancing for how many years? How long? Oh, I don't know. She's dancing for around twenty-five years, probably. Okay, and this is the dance class that you yeah. teach, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, go ahead and talk about what we're looking at here. Okay, we're looking for the salsa lesson. Same thing. What I did with Mary, I just do basic movements. Not very basic, I will say, intermediate, advanced a little bit. Okay, and again, this is salsa, right? Yeah, that's salsa. Okay, what is salsa, if you can explain? Um, salsa, I can tell you probably more Spanish culture dance, but actually a lot of people compete on that too. It means originally you've got a, a lot of competitions going in a salsa dance. Right, do you have to have good footwork? Absolutely. What's the Foot key to good dancing? I said everything. No, you're supposed to get a good footwork, good hips work, good body work. 
on his skills if the male or female leading following things who should be the lead if you're ballroom dancing oh. should it be the male or the female male why mm, because how can i say most of the time they moving forward ladies moving back means they see the flow what they do uh -huh. and they got a stronger frame connection like they can make the lead partner mm-hmm Mm -hmm. So if I come to you or anybody comes to you, we have no idea what to do to start. What's the first thing that you teach? First thing, I will get probably a couple basic movements. See how you're connecting with your partner. How you better understand the information through the ears, through the eyes. So like I need a touching, a little showing on you. Which way you better understand and start from there. Okay, so it's just the basics. Yeah. Just very basic footwork and moves, right? Yeah. It's not too complicated. No. Okay, we got a phone call here. Good morning. You're on Connect with me with Dimitri uh, Kochkin. What's your question? My question is, well, number one, he sure makes it look easy on the dance floor sliding around in that video. I <laughs> sure that's not yeah. good. Yeah. And I know he's been dancing since he was a kid, but somebody that never took it up, how long? If he took a raw recruit how long before you could get them to look that good or as good as the students in your class how long have they been at it that's my question yeah okay it depends on a person how much you're going to be practicing and what kind of talents you are but it's for i would say to feel yourself comfortable maybe three four months if you're going to be take a couple private lessons a, a week some group lessons to practice more. Yeah. Now, uh, let me ask you, though, how long will it take to reach your level? I mean, you're how old now? <sighs> right now, 37. Okay, you start at the age of nine. Yeah. So that's, I mean, my goodness, you've been, you've been dancing for 26 years. Yeah. How long will it take someone to reach your level of dancing? I mean, your, your, the, the, your talent is incredible because you've been doing it for so long. How long would it take me to do that? No. To look that good? I don't know. You're talented. I don't know. Maybe five, six years. Okay. And would that be weekly practice? Yeah. Daily practice? No. Weekly, weekly take like maybe one or two lessons a week, couple classes, and practicing on your own. Okay. Just because you make it look so fluid and so easy, you're so much at ease with yourself and confident about the next move that's coming, that's what's, and it looks very graceful as well. Mm -hmm. So it takes a long time to, to master all those moves, right? Yeah, you just, like everything, like you're practicing hockey, basketball, football, anything. You just, golf. Yeah, golf. Yeah. Teach your body doing that automatically. When I'm dancing, I'm not thinking. My body responding by themselves. Muscle memory? Is that exactly, what it is? Exactly, yeah. Okay. All right, we're talking to Dimitri Kochkin. He is the owner of Ballroom Live here in the city of Fresno. Ballroom dancing the past a few years, or quite a few years, actually, has become very popular across the country all thanks to Dancing with the Stars, of course, on ABC. We are going to be back with our program, 436 Me TV Option 11. If you want to call in, make sure and turn down the sound on your TV set. Back in just a moment. Now, why don't you tell us the whole story right from the beginning? All right, from the beginning. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. My name's Friday. I carry a badge. Police officers. You any idea who the other man was? My partner's Bill Gannon. Program? We got just one big question. Yeah, when? Now on Me TV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Arts and Culture Day here on the set of Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno. We're talking with Dimitri Kochkin. He is a dance instructor. He has a bachelor's in dancing. He owns Ballroom Live, has for the past uh, three years or so. Of course, ballroom dancing, very popular on television, on ABC with Dancing with the Stars. Let me ask you, Kochkin, since, uh, or Dimitri, I should say, um, uh, since you're not from this country, what is different about dancing in this country as opposed to overseas, for example, Europe or maybe where you come from? In my country, it's a sport. 
up here I would say it more like hobby class some people want to compete doing professionally too but right here people dance more for fun for exercises I don't know what else maybe relax communicate we got some parties they coming in to socialize spend some time have fun yeah but where you come from do you think it's you think it's more of a sport then people take it more seriously yeah because they, do. they start training the kids from five years old I so start very late it's like our kids here they start playing soccer exactly. they start playing little league yeah. they start playing football at a small you <laughs> started dancing at the age of nine you weren't did you play any other sports yeah I've been playing basketball, I've been playing volleyball, I was get the hockey, I was involved in the rugby team in my country for five years, playing for the school. So what is it about dancing that caught your eye? It's, I don't know how that's happened actually. Uh, one girl out of my school, she, she needs the partner, she was asking me if I can help her. I come over before it took some probably three years of ballet when I was little means I got some backgrounds mm-hmm mm -hmm. tried to help you I like it and stuck with that yeah so you stuck with it because you mm -hmm. liked it now in Europe in Europe say even in Canada uh, Mexico do they take dancing more seriously than we do here you know in a Canada yes because it's more kids dancing yeah they start much younger it means when they growing up 15 16, mm, 15, 16, they're already professionals. Is that right? In Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like ice skating is a, a very popular oh, yeah. sport up there, too. So it kind of goes hand in hand with dancing a little bit, too. So we've got another piece of videotape of you giving some instruction out there at mm -hmm. Ballroom Live. So let's take a look at the monitor, talk into the microphone there so everybody wow. at home can hear you. Okay, what are you doing here? What's going on? Okay, right now I'm showing the guys part, like means explain them what they feet work directions mm -hmm. they do <clears throat> okay and after that after that i'm gonna be show the girls part after when i'm done with the guys first you're showing the feet work directions they're supposed to know mm -hmm. <clears throat> after that i show in the ladies part then i show how it looks together explain leading mm -hmm. i'm showing with one of my students what the guy's supposed to do and after that, they just grab the partners and start doing it. So you're, in this particular video here, you're showing how the guy, yes. the man, is supposed to lead in whatever dance they're yeah, doing. Yeah, in the salsa, yeah, exactly. In the salsa, yeah. Um, do you find that most get it, or do a lot of them, they don't get it? No, no, no. All class get it. If you see the later video, you're going to be show, or you're going to be see it. Yeah, All so you find that it. most in your class, they get it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it doesn't take long to sink in. Okay, so how many steps do you take? Is it three, four, five different steps to learn salsa? Uh, most of the, everything build on a basic. If you know the basic pretty well, you can work with anything. Okay, and, and um, how many, talk about how many classes you have per week. How many classes like what we just saw in the video there? Okay, this class, uh, every Friday I got the party at the evening. This class, before the Friday party, I got uh, two classes on Wednesday, two classes on Tuesday, and two classes on Thursday. Okay, so that's quite a few. And how do people sign up? Give your phone number out if you want. Well, they go on a website. Which they is what? calling uh, ballroomlivefresno.com. Ballroom Live Fresno mm -hmm. dot com. Dot com. Yes. Okay. So you say you have several classes per week, and what do those classes cost if you would, you want to walk in and be a part of the group? Month. If you buy the package, it's going to be cost you probably fifty five sixty dollars per five six classes. Okay. All if right. you buy them single, it's going to be fourteen fifteen dollars, depends on the class. Okay. And if you want to come in and you want individual instructions, private instructions from yourself, mm -hmm. uh, what's that going to cost me? It's going to be cost seventy dollars per fifty minutes. Okay, seventy yeah. seven zero. Yeah, seven zero for about fifty minutes. And yeah. how many how many of those um, private instructions do you give over the course of time? As many as one wants, mm -hmm. or is there? Do you have to buy a package deal? Oh, you can buy them by one. You can get a package deal. It's 
what's comfortable for the people. Yeah. Some have said that dancing is good for the heart, yeah. good for the soul, good for the mind. Definitely. Is it like a relaxer? Is it like oh, a yeah. muscle relaxer? Is it like almost like a tranquilizer? It just puts you at ease. Oh yeah, when you is get it on all the of those floor? things? Yeah, when you get on the floor and you have a nice music, it's so much fun. Yeah, what does it do for you mentally and physically? Mm, I'm looking a little bit from the other side. It's my job. Right. But I love it. If I don't love it, I will never do it. Right. Okay, we're talking with Dimitri uh, Kochkin. He is the owner of Ballroom Live here in the city of Fresno, located at First and Bullard. We're going to take your calls if you want to call in and ask any questions about ballroom dancing. If you're interested in dancing or taking a dance class or having personal private instruction, you can call us here at 436-MeTV, option 11. We'll be back in just a moment. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Ballroom Live, located at Fresno and Bullard, and uh, our cameras went out there, and uh, we videotaped some of the classes that were taking place, uh, some of the instruction that was going on by Dimitri. He is the instructor out there. And then we talked to one of the participants. Her name is Mary Short, and we asked her, hey, what do you think about ballroom dancing and what it's doing for you, or whatever her thoughts were. Here they are on tape. Um, a lot of creative um, aspects because I'm more a serious person, so this helps to bring out my creative side. Um, it's a stress reliever. Um, it's good physical activity. And I like the partnership that it brings because it's two people coming together as one. So I like that partnership. It's not just dancing by yourself. You're dancing with someone else to tell a story. And so that was Mary Short. Uh, obviously, you know who she is. She's a part of your class there at uh, Ballroom Live. And I, I, two things that she said there in the video is, one, and I want you to comment on each one of them, one, it brings out my creative side. How so? Uh, creative side, because we do a lot of performances, like on Friday we're going to be got the showcase. Creative side, when you start choreographing something. You listen to music and you're thinking about it, you feel it's something, what you want to do for that music. That's creating something for yourself yeah. and your partner, Yes. being creative. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can do that together as a, as, a, as a couple or you can do it individually, oh, right? You can do it as a couple, you can do individual. Other side for girls, it's a lot of about dress. Yeah. Now, I would imagine uh, that you know a lot about ballroom dancing and I want to ask you that, but one more thing that... Um, Mary Short said, and I think this is very apropos and very, I think, uh, according to the times that we live in now, uh, it's a stress reliever. We all live in a very stressful environment, whether it's at work, yeah. home, we have kids, some are married, uh, everybody's under stress. How does it relieve stress to go dance? Hmm, interesting question. I don't know. It's so many things. People come over, socialize, dancing, exercising, having fun, moving for the music. It's different feelings. I don't know. Hard to explain. When you're having a bad day, is it a stress reliever for you? Hmm, sometimes, yes. How so? Hmm. I never been thinking about this. Yeah. It just I don't does, know. Huh? Star, yeah, so got a good partner. Start choreographing. It just feels good. I don't know. Do something new, like never been seen before. The history of ballroom dancing. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. Yeah. And where did it start? Oh, where the start different dances start in different countries. For example, rumba came from Cuba. Right. On thirties. Uh, mm -hmm. And then what we got a waltz. Uh, slow waltz came from the England. Foxtrot came from the England. Tango. Salsa. Salsa came from Spain. Spain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So it's all, the, all of these various dances that you mention, it's a combination. It's called ballroom dancing. Yes. And so they came from different parts of the world, not yes. just one part. It's like a common, it's like a hodgepodge a little bit. Yeah, we got a different type of dancing. We got a Latin American dancing. It's uh, cha-cha, rumba, samba, not dances. And right. we got a smooth dancers. It's going to be waltz, foxtrot. It's a different group of dance. Do you watch Dancing with the Stars? Mm, very seldom. Okay, but when you do, what do you like about it? What I are like the dancers about it, are the yeah. dancers really good on there? Yeah. They are, huh? And what I like about how the person who's never got a dance experience put himself on a show working so hard whole week, they dancing seven, eight hours every day. Mm -hmm. And come up in front of the people and performing. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Quite a few years ago, and I don't recall what year this was, but Emmett Smith, who was a former running back and is a former running back of the Dallas Cowboys, uh, one of the greatest of all time, went in and won the competition. Just, I was so, and I don't watch Dancing with the Stars on a regular basis, but I was so just mesmerized by his dancing. Phenomenal dancer, and he's not a professional dancer, and he won the competition. But the way he danced was just so elegant and so professional uh, from what I saw. Do you find that with most of the dancers who, who are on the program? <clears throat> yeah, because people coming in, I don't know, when they coming for the dancing, they got the feelings for that. They want to do that. Mm -hmm. And they want to do that good. Right. That's stimulating them. Okay, Dimitri, we're out of time. I don't want to get cut off, but I appreciate it. So, once again, it's Ballroom Live, located at uh, Fresno and Bullard. Yeah. And uh, what's the address there in case people want to go? Uh, 5721 North 1st Street. 5721 North 1st Street. Yes. Okay. Southwest and, corner. Okay. Are there any particular shoes that people should wear to ballroom dance before we go? I want to make sure that people wear the right shoes and maybe the right clothing. Clothing that feels comfortable, yeah. right? Clothes should be comfortable. Shoes, what in the beginning should be normal shoes, what they feel comfortable. Ladies supposed to wear in the heels, ballroom dancing, dancing with the heels. He, you got to wear heels then, yeah. huh? Heels to, to, for women to dance. Yes. Isn't that a little uncomfortable or no? Uh, no, ballroom dancing, build that way, you're supposed to wear in the heels. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's one way to build up the strength in your legs, your ankles, oh, your yeah. feet, get your heart rate going, get it up there. You know, you, th you, you make it look easy. I mean, you look at the tape, the videotape, you make it look so easy and you think you're in shape and then you get out there and you're like huffing and puffing if you're not if you're not quite in shape yep yeah that's so, happened all right one more thing uh before we go we actually do have to go in just just a minute or so what do you want people to know about ballroom dancing are there any misconceptions out there that you want to clarify i don't know hard to say for the people it's so much fun yeah. If they try to do so much fun, maybe it's going to be a little bit difficult in the beginning. But when you get some experience, it's so much fun. Got a lot of events, like we're doing Friday right now, showcase at the studio, performing with the students. They Starts love what that. time? Uh, start at 6.30. Okay. Got to go in with an open mind yeah. and have fun. Absolutely. Dimitri, always good to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're, you're an welcome. excellent dancer. And um, I just have one thing to say. I will never be able to dance like you. <laughs> Good luck with your Ballroom Live. Thank I you. appreciate it. Dimitri Kochkin, he was our guest today here, Ballroom Live. We're back again tomorrow with another edition of Connect With Me on Me TV Fresno. See you then. Have a great day. From the pages of history and the untamed prairies of a young nation comes one of television's and America's most memorable folk heroes. was a man, just a big man. Well, you're Daniel Boone. Yep. Fast Parker stars as the legendary Daniel Boone with Ed Ames as his trusty sidekick, Mingo. Pleasure indeed. A Kentuckian named Daniel Boone. That's me. Watch Daniel Boone weekday mornings at 9, 8 central on MeTV. 
Do you like me? Just like me. Like Me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Frigidaire. It means the first electric refrigerator. The first compact electric range. Now, there's the Frigidaire Gallery Range with Symmetry Double Ovens. It's designed to cook multiple dishes at multiple temperatures, so you can prepare the entire meal at the same time. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances.